Hey everybody! Nice to see you again. Uh, we've had some pretty interesting conversations that glorify God in this series. This is the last video for this series for Righteous Roots of the Heart and Through the Spirit. Um, and then we'll be starting um, Sinful Roots in the Heart uh, when this one's over uh, next week's. So um, I want to say thank you for those of you who have followed all of these or most of these videos that I've done. Um, I want to just say thank you very much and I appreciate it from my heart. Uh, today I'm going to do a video and uh, see my friends behind me here. Uh, they're so cute. Uh, I really like elephants. Um, it's kind of funny because see the baby elephant? Uh, my mom <laughs> named me uh, after a baby elephant, and uh, which I don't mind. I, I used to think it was weird, <laughs> but now I, it, I'm good with it because I really like elephants, and I think they're really uh, cute. I even have an elephant oil burner and all that, so I do like elephants. Um, I found this, and I thought that is just adorable. Um, and today we're going to be talking about thankfulness. And um, so I just want to say I'm very thankful for all that God had made and his creatures. And I thank you that uh, we can have beautiful um, videos like this and stuff of like the ones behind me um, that we can have to share with people. You know, they're very positive. I mean, what's, I mean, that is just adorable. Okay. The thing may flip around uh, over and over. Um, that's the way it's made. It is a video that loops. And I have a green screen behind me and I'm able to put videos up. And that's where that's from. So no, unfortunately, I am not in Africa or anywhere. I wish I could be. I've always wanted to do missions work in Africa. I have my friend, Pastor John Agala, over there. And he's very special to me and so is his family. And even though we've never met in person, we've known each other for years, and I love him and his family, and they are like my family to me. Um, so I hope, you know, if he watches this, he will really enjoy that. Um, like I said, today we were talking about thankfulness. So see, thankful. I'm thankful that God gave us uh, this beautiful earth and the creatures on it and all the different people because we're all unique, right? We're all unique. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit. Thankfulness in the heart says things such as, I will not grumble or complain. I will give thanks in all things. And I am joyful and content, right? Thankfulness is a contented state of heart that expresses itself in words of phrase and gratitude. It is a humble, loving offering to God it does not demand any perceived rights. A thankful heart is overwhelmed by the gracious gifts that flow from the mercy and goodness of God. Contrary to thankfulness or the opposite of thankfulness are anxiety, selfishness, greed, envy, and pride. And I'm sure at one point in time we've all had issues with one or, one or more of those things. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We are to give thanks in all circumstances. And isn't there times, people, that we feel like, I'm not feeling thankful right now, but we really need to be. We should be thankful that we live, we're, we're alive for another day. We should be thankful that we have a God who loves us and cares about us and has given us nature and each other and he has given his only son to be the savior of the world to stop us from going to hell for eternity right where we can go to glorious heaven where there's going to be streets made of gold there's um the bible says that there are going to be like gates and there's going to they're going to be made of pearl and amethyst and diamond all these kind of things it's it's going I think it's diamond <laughs> anyways there's it's, it's going to be amazing and um I think that it is so awesome that Jesus said that he is going to go and prepare a place for us so being Christians okay Jesus is preparing a place for us in heaven and I don't know what it's going to be like 
but uh, it's it's supposed to be, I guess, a mansion. So I don't know if we can put requests in, but uh, I believe God gave us a sense of humor and a sense of adventure and imagination. So I'm really hoping that my mansion is a cabin. <laughs> but anyway, um, either there, it, it could be, if Jesus is doing it, which he is, it's going to be even more better than a cabin. It's going to be better than any mansion here on earth. It's going to be so amazing that it's going to be something that, you know, uh, we could never think up in our minds. It's going to be really great. So I'm thankful for that. Uh, we need to be thankful for the people he brings into our lives. We need to be thankful. Okay, so a lot of people know me. They know what I've been through. They know what kind of life I've lived, the kind of person I used to be what kind of person I am now. And I'm hoping that through seeing the way that I am now, that they can realize that they can change and they can be happy. I used to think that partying life was everything and that, you know, the worldly stuff was great. And I realized, you know, and I, and I was always like, well, you know, if you're going to be a Christian and you got to give up having fun and all this, no, you don't. And it's more fun being a Christian and life is more amazing and awesome and um, you have more to be thankful for and you got blessings and you got father of God, the God of the universe that made everything, everything in the world and everything in it. Okay. He is your father. When you become a Christian, he becomes your father. I am thankful for that. I'm thankful that he changed me. I'm thankful that he helped me to be the person I am, but I'm also thankful for everybody he's put in my life. For the people that abuse me in any sort of way, you know, who have talked about me, anything. I am thankful. And if someone was to ask me, is there one thing in your past you would change for yourself? And I would have to say no. Because everything that happened brought me to where I am today. Okay? And uh, I have babies in heaven. I had situations happen that... I didn't like, I do, you know, I do wish that my uh, children could have had it a little bit better um, and that they could have had God in their life a little more and that they would put him first. But you know what? I can't do anything about that. And I can't be thankful that they did ask Jesus in their heart when they were little and they did understand. I could be thankful that they're all doing well um, as far as finances and stuff. Two hours later. <laughs> so anyways... Uh, that was funny. Um, sorry about the interruption. I had, uh, we were just talking about, I was talking about how, you know, I'm thankful and I'm thank you thank for my kids, all sorts of stuff. Well, that was my daughter that just called. And, uh, and you know, and then I had a Christian song on my phone. So it's almost like, you know, hey, God is speaking, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways, uh, it was that song, my God is greater, my God is stronger. Yeah, that's a good song. Um, so anyways, uh, we have to be thankful for all these things that happen in life. Uh, nothing's per perfect. And that was a perfect example. You know, uh, be thankful for the little interruptions you get. And uh, thank you for, you know, we, we need to be thankful for our children and uh you know, that um, we can have imperfect times, not just, you know, really great times that happen all the time, but also imperfect times or imperfect timing. Uh, we need to be thankful for all those things because it, it, we can look back on them. We can laugh about things, you know. Uh, there's been a few things in my life and I look back and I'm going, oh, wow, you know, it was funny. So um, anyways, uh, we just need to be thankful and grateful for everything. And we need to thank God every day just that we're alive. Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, stop end this for now, except for if you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you believe he died and rose again, I'm going to say a prayer. And you, you are welcome to say it with me. And you say it out loud. And I will try to go as slow as I can. And if, if you believe in Jesus and, you know, in, in the gospel and you believe in him, then you say this prayer and you repent of your sins and he is faithful and just to forgive you all your sins as far as the east is from the west and your sins will be forgiven and everything you've ever done will be forgiven and forgotten. Um, but if you would like this and you would like to know for sure you're going to go to heaven, just have faith and believe in Jesus and his uh, death and resurrection 
um, and that he, you know, conquer death, hell, and the grave and accept him into your heart and your life. Surrender yourself to him. His Holy Spirit will come and live in you, and you will be a child of the Most High God. Okay, and you will be a brother and sister in Christ with the rest of us. So, if you, like I said before, I've said many times, if you like this video, click the subscribe button at the bottom and the bell to get notifications. If you have any questions uh, about your new salvation, about your new walk, your new life, please contact me. I, I will pray for you, with you. I'll answer any questions I can. Please just leave comments and, and whatever you'd like to hear in the future. Or, you know, something you like, don't like. If you enjoy having a little bit of uh, comedy <laughs> in the videos, please let me know. Okay, so for those of you who are not saved, if you would, or even if you are saved, maybe you're having doubts about your salvation, you can rededicate yourself this way too. But mention to the Lord that you're rededicating. Okay? Dear Lord Jesus, I know that you uh, died and rose again to cover my sins. Lord, I've done a lot wrong. Please forgive me. Lord, please, I just, just come into my heart and life. I surrender my life to you. I surrender my soul to you. Lord, please let your Holy Spirit come and live inside of me. Lord, I turn from all of my wicked ways, and I'm so very sorry. And I love you so much. I accept your salvation. I accept you as my Savior. And Lord, I want to live every day for you. I have addictions. I have problems. But with you, I know that I can conquer them because you'll help me. I want to be more like you. I want an intimate, in-love relationship with you. And I pray and ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. And yay, if you said that you are a Christian, you are a brother and sister in Christ, and you can know that if you were to die today, you are going to go to heaven. Okay, so, uh, but I just love you in the name of Jesus. And uh, next time we're going to have our new series started. So I look forward to it. And I hope you do too. Uh, okay, so bye.